Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this Cypress tutorial, let us quickly understand about the Cypress folder structure and the folder structure that got created. So understand what exactly each of the folder represents here and all of the files that got created when we wrote our first test case. So this was the basic folder where we created our automation code. So Cypress automation, right? And then below that you will see there are a couple of folders. There. So the first folder was the Cypress and then below that we have the node modules, couple of files and then this JS config file was the file that we added later. Okay. So what exactly are these folders? Let's understand that structure. So basically we are doing the end-to-end -end testing, right? And we know that from the initial lecture as well, E2E and component are two types of testing that were available. So we chose E2E testing because as software development engineering test or as that, we will be doing the end-to-end -end testing using Cypress. So all the test cases, if you see, will be in the E2E folder that you write. So basically we have written a test one and a first test dot cy dot js and they get automatically detected within this e2e folder right so as far as you write your test case within this folder those will be detected by the cypress app and will be displayed on the ui okay so this is where the test case are now what exactly comes in fix fixture so fixture is uh, the folder wherein you can specify the data right so for example you want to use a certain data within the test cases you are you want to data drive your Scenarios, for example, you want to test with different uh, combination of data, uh, valid username, invalid password, valid username, valid password, right? Or you want to do a uh, registration of the user and there are multiple users that you want to register. So you can specify that data into the fixtures uh, folder. All of that data will come here uh, in terms of file in, with, with the file uh, that will hold that particular data. And that can be easily referenced within your test cases here. Okay, so Cypress has all these default configurations already. You can change this configuration. I can have my test case in, a, in some different folder if I want to. I can have my data in some different folder other than fixture. But by default, this structure is already provided if you want to use by default. And most of the time, by, the default configuration would be good enough to go ahead and get started. And you won't even need to update it unless until there is a specific need within your project to update this structure okay so this is about the fixtures now screenshots gets created uh, screenshots and videos folder get created when you execute your test case right so all the screenshots for the test case for example here you will see that it will hold the screenshot okay this is the fail um, screenshot for this particular test because this there was an uncaught exception the application exception basically there's nothing to do with the test but then screenshot has been taken and you will see the screenshots in the screenshots folder similarly videos will contain the mp4 video so you can see that it, it has the complete video here and you can go ahead and play the video and it will basically record how the execution overall happened okay so it will also have the video so the videos folder will have the videos recorded okay so let me so you'll see that it has the complete video it didn't load uh, i think that's a separate a separate issue but then you will see that videos will contain the videos now the next thing is the support folder okay and now this screenshots and videos get created once you execute your test all right by default first time you won't see screenshots and videos and there might be some other folder that get created so for example downloads folder okay so if there is something within your test that is downloading some uh, file that gets stored into the downloads folder so it, it will get created automatically now in the support folder you will see that we have certain commands.js or the e2e.js okay so these files what exactly you can define here is you can define a custom command right that will override existing cypress command okay so I'm not going to go into very much detail here but then custom command is something say for example you want to uh, override an existing command how a particular command so for example click or you know over uh, over a particular element uh, certain commands that are out of the box within cypress you want to override them and want to define a specific functionality which overrides the functionality that is being provided by the cypress then you define those commands here Okay, for example, you see we have a parent command, the child command for add uh, that does a se separate action as compared to what is defined by default. Then you can define it here. Okay, now this is the advanced section. So we'll be covering this lot later, but 
just to give you an overview why do we have commands and e2ejs here right so this support you will be able to define the commands that you can override okay then e2e is basically you reference whatever you define in the commands okay and this is for e2e testing there could be another one for the component dot js right which will be referenced for the component if you, if you are doing component testing okay so this is what goes into the support so this is what all folders are there in the cypress okay folder then we have the node modules which is nothing but all the libraries you will see all the libraries dependencies that are required for cypress test execution okay for you to basically bake something so it's a prerequisite right so whenever you want to write something say for example we we learned about java right so java and selenium so how does uh, our java file understand selenium command it understands because we import the selenium web driver library and those classes and methods come from the selenium web driver library unless and until we we'll import it we won't be able to use those methods right for example find element and then clicking on it it all comes from selenium web driver library similarly because we are learning we are using uh, cypress and it's it's on uh, node.js so in order to use the cypress commands to browse through or to basically automate the browser uh, behaviors we will basically have all the dependencies added right and when we did the npm command install cypress then all the dependencies get installed where in the node module so in the node modules all the cypress dependencies anything for example screenshot uh, taking the videos everything all those dependencies are in the node modules okay now you don't need to basically go ahead and see all of the details this is just for your reference that you can basically explain in the interviews what exactly this all is about okay then js.config is something which i have added later to enable the code completion right so code completion basically we have seen that when we were writing the test cases when we used to type cy dot then it was not recognizing right so uh, it was not recognizing the cypress commands or the describe etc so that's where we had this js config dot json and we added this include the cypress modules and then it will start recognizing the code completion or basically auto completion okay smart um, command uh, identification within the javascript within the cypress okay so this is something which added late which we added later then we have this package.json okay i'll come to config.cypress.config.js at last but then package.json and package log.json package hyphen log.json so package.json if you are coming from java background you can correlate it with the pom.xml okay so something like a dependency management files wherein we have specified the dependency like this is the cypress dependency i'm looking for based on this all the dependencies will be basically downloaded cypress dependencies and will be installed in the and they'll be stored where in the node modules right so this package.json is where you will define all the dependencies or the raw material that you will need to do something within cypress okay so for example in selenium we used to have a lot of external dependencies to be added in pom.xml for example we added selenium web driver then for doing a test or adding a test framework right so we used to have a test ng then for maybe reporting engine we'll have another library so we'll add another dependency so similarly we have a, if we need customized things to be available within cypress we can add those dependencies here in the package.json file. Now package log.json is automatically created and correlated with the package.json. This is more of managing the dependencies internally, the versioning of, a, of it. Okay. So if I go here, let me open here. So you don't need to worry about this package log.json, but just for your understanding, this is where you can basically check for it. Um, on if you just Google, you will get it and this is automatically generated right where npm modifies either the node modules tree or the package or json and what exactly it will do is it, it describes a single representation of the dependency tree so everyone teammates deployment continuous integration are guaranteed to install exactly the same dependencies exactly the same version of dependencies so this log file ensures that whenever you are you know using this particular project it will ensure that everywhere same version of dependencies installed so that is the only purpose of it 
and there are a lot of other things you can go ahead and read it for software testing and test automation you don't need to go, go into too much detail of it but understanding the high level uh, correlation is really important okay so this is what package log.json is now coming to cypressconfig.js okay this is very very important file and this is the file wherein we can do all the configurations okay so all the configurations related to say for example i do not want to keep my test cases into e2e i want to create another folder completely i want to create a folder which says uh, cypress test cases okay and then within test cases i want to create a folder regression i want to create another child folder sanity and then i want to keep my test cases there okay so this is where in the cypress.config.js you can simply go ahead and specify the properties key value properties to change any of these location and other details that you want to okay so this is where all the configuration is going to go now if i talk about this uh, cypressconfig.js let me quickly try to find out so here in the documentation of uh, cypress if you just scroll down in the guide section you will see that the configuration okay so in the configuration we'll see that the cypress.config.js okay or if you're using typescript it is .ts and then you will see that we have this different options okay and if you see different options we have a lot of options that we can basically specify now let's quickly go to the timeout. Say for example, the default timeout is already set and you want to change it. Okay, so for example, the task timeout, you want to change it. You can specify that in the config.js. Similarly, if you go to the file and folder, okay. So I can change the download folder. I can change the fixtures folder where exactly the fixture should come from. So by default, you will see that cypress.fixture, okay, is where the fixtures will be. I can change the screenshot location. I can change the video location or end-to-end -end testing location to some other folder just by specifying those details here using the key value pair that has that i specified i just have to specify the option and the value that that i want to specify okay so let's quickly try to change it for example i want to have the spec pattern into some other folder okay or my test cases into some other folder so what i'll do is i will go ahead and simply if you see here let's see let's try to find out spec pattern okay so you'll see that we have the spec pattern so i'll simply copy that and here in the e2e okay i'll put that and then specify where exactly you want to specify the spec pattern what is the location okay so say for example i want to keep it in the uh, cypress but then in a different folder okay so i'll say okay i want to keep it in the cypress folder but then not exactly in the cypress i want to keep it in the uh, not in the e2e but i want to keep it in the new folder or uh, the folder that i want to create or custom folder i'll say test cases and then within test cases any file any subfolders that are there okay so i'll put you know double um, stars there so that means any subfolders any uh, it could be regression or sanity within the test cases and the files within that okay so any within those folders if i if i say dot uh, star cy okay let me copy from there so it's a bit easier so you'll see that rest all i'll copy from here okay so this is the extension of those files so i'll simply say all right so from here i'll copy that and then close the single quote comma so this means that now the cypress app will scan for the folder which is test cases okay within this and then any subfolder be below that okay so any subfolder below that for the dot cy dot js files okay so if i go ahead and save it so you will see that the app has started let me remove it so you can see it okay so i'll i'll remove it and then save it so you, you see that currently the app is okay cut it i've saved it okay so let's go to the app so now you will see the app will be able to detect where the files are at the moment so it should be in the so they are still in e2e i have to close this so you'll see the cypress is currently scanning cypress slash e2e okay and the test cases are there but then i want to change this default behavior and i want to keep test cases where into the cypress slash test cases okay so i have changed this now i'll go ahead and save it and you'll see the immediate change here okay let me i haven't saved it yet but then let me go ahead and change it and you can see you know it will start scanning a different so as soon as i save it you will see that it has gone right so it is scanning a new folder now all right so now which folder it is scanning it is scanning the test case so if i go ahead in the cypress 
and create a new folder i'll say test cases okay and then within this particular test cases folder if i go back i create another subfolder and i'll say okay regression and within this regression you'll see that immediately what it did it found this test cases okay and then there is a folder within it but then it couldn't find any spec okay immediately it recognize that because i have made these changes here on the in the config.js okay so now within the test cases let me create a new folder and i'll say regression okay and then i'll also create a new folder smoke oh sorry that created in the let me create in the cases okay and then within this smoke let me create a new file okay so i'll say test1.cy.js and immediately you will see that this got detected right so within test cases more one test case has been created and then if i copy and paste it in the regression you will see automatically the new test case within the regression also got detected right so this is basically how you are going to use the config.js file in order to change the default location of or the configuration that is provided out of the box from cypress okay now this is very brief introduction of this particular file but this is very important file we'll be working a lot on it when we go ahead with the advanced framework structure we'll be doing a lot of changes here so that we can do the test cases and the location according to our need and the project need right so that is why i wanted to cover the whole structure here uh, what exactly this config.js is all about what it will do how you can will be you will be doing those changes and then proceeding further from here Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.